Man, when I tell y'all my crazy sneaker collection just keep getting crazy and crazier, I mean that. Let's get it. We're gonna take a look at the brand new Nike SB Dunk Low eBay, also known as the Sandy Bodeckers. Okay, we're gonna take a look at the box first. Checking out the box comes in your regular standard eBay box, not the eBay box, I'm sorry, the regular standard Nike SB box. Taking a look at the top right there, okay. Um, on the inside, nothing crazy, same paper, same everything is the same now. I apologize, I didn't have too much video of the uh, pictures of the box. It's so cold outside, as y'all can tell. But we're gonna get into today's video, y'all. These right here are the Nike SB Dunk Low eBay, also known as the uh, hey, Sandy Bodeckers. Okay, crazy, crazy story behind these fantastic shoe right here. And we're gonna get all into it right now into this video. But we're gonna take a quick look at it, man. Take a quick full 360 look at the sneaker. Um I was shocked when I hit on these. It's crazy, it's wild. Um, hit on these on Nike sneakers app. But story behind these, from my understanding, these dunks was released um, a while back. There was um, a pretty much that was not approved, I guess, by Nike to release these. eBay made some eBay dunks and they auctioned off for like $30,000, one pair. And the guy who bought that one for one pair, um, his name is Sandy Bodecker. Um, so, Pretty much, um, what you see the lines in the shoe, the cut, from my understanding that Nike tell them, hey, this not approved, so they had to go ahead and cut the shoes up, rip them up, destroy the shoes, and get rid of them, and it was only one pair that was um, released. They got that um, auction, they won the auction for $30,000, um, Sandy. A lot of people, it's a great history behind the SB Dunk. A lot of people saying the SB stand for Sandy Bodecker, you know, some say it stands for skateboard. Comment down below and let me know what you think, okay? But we're gonna get into the sneaker, man. And also, Nike decided to re release these out for the public. So, hey, for those who love the story, it's a great story behind the sneaker. For those who love it, you'll have a chance right now to get these. Um, and this crazy thing is, we're gonna talk about resale too, also. So, if you want these, it's a good chance you can get these right now. Nice, nice, nice. I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm collecting these SBs lately. At first, I couldn't hit a pair of dunk, but now I'm hitting SB dunks. That is crazy. So looking at the bottom, man, you see it. You got a red bottom, and you also had a clear sole for where it was cut. Also, which you can see right here, where it was also cut. It was cut in three parts. Right here, right here, and right here. Okay. Nice shoe. Comes with only one set of shoelaces. Wish it came with more. But only come with blue. It would've been dope if it come with blue, green, yellow, white, and red. Now that would've been nice. Now, taking a look on the inside, the shoe tree, got your regular standard shoe tree, okay? Now on the, on the sole, the sole is nice too. Uh, I'm not sure if I wanna take my sole out, but on the sole, hopefully you guys can see that. See, you got the toe, and you got the foot in there. See that? Now the other one is kinda different too. I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. But um, nice shoe, man. On the tongue, you got your SB, and it also reads Nike SB Forever, okay? Which might stand for Nike Skateboard Forever or Nike Sandy Bodecker Forever, okay? Nice shoe. These was made in, the date is 5 11 22, 8 23 22. Now, taking a look at the other shoe on the insole, y'all see that? It's like he's hugging, it. yeah, he's hugging. The baby. I think that's his, I'm not sure. That's his kid. So he's hugging. Hopefully you guys can see that right there. Now, dope, 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 dope story, man. One thing I'm not too much of a fan of, I think it was two things, but right here on the back, on the heel tab, as you guys can see, it has the SB and the Nike swoosh. I just, it just look kind of off to me. I feel like something needs to be right below right here. Like I was saying, man, maybe that's just me, but nothing too major. But the quality of the material, it is nice. Material is nice on it, okay? Mm. 
when it comes to pricing, retail, these retail for $130, okay? So after taxes, it's probably like $140. But right now, when it comes to resale market, resale is doing pretty pretty good, not too crazy. These are going for my size nine, like $200. So, not that much, okay? It's not crazy. So if you're a fan of these sneakers, man, if I were you, I would buy them right now. Will it go up in the future? I'm not sure. But I would definitely cop these right now if I were you. That just means personal opinion. Now, as we were saying earlier with the store behind the shoes, comparing the sneaker with the previous, as y'all know, the previous one was only released to that one person, Sandy Bodecker, and pretty much, He's the only one with that one that went for $30,000, so. Um, and also, it was special releases of these also they released. Um, if you get this, this skateboard deck of the shoe box, that would've been dope. I think only um, skateboard shops had those, but that would've been fire. And also, I feel like, I think, what is it? Only 10 pair of those was made? And it also come with like some sneakers that was cut up, actually cut up, not like these. But it come with some actual pair that was cut up and a pair that was actually like these right here, which is nice. It is nice. So. Crazy story about these, man. I feel like this is a collector's item. You can just sit this on your shelf in your sneaker room or wherever, and just it's just a conversation starter piece, man. Like I said, I got a lot of sneakers lately that are just nice. This is my second SB Dunk low. Um, you know, I got a neck faces, which we got a crazy story behind them, and these is just nice, crazy story, also. So, yeah, when it comes to how much I like these, I like these a lot. I do like them. At first, I wasn't even gonna go for them. I'm like, uh, I'm not sure, but not gonna lie. Looking at them like this, you're probably not gonna be a fan of them. But once you put them on feet and you dress them up nicely, you're gonna like them. But they look way better on feet, trust me. So I give in, I'm giving these a nice solid eight out of 10, okay? Eight out of 10. Now, when I say eight out of 10, that just means, that's just my personal opinion. But when it comes to like wearability, I'm not sure. I, this is not the everyday sneaker because I'm not gonna be walking around here looking like a crayon like some crayons all day every day you know what i'm saying that's the only thing just a lot of stuff going on but i feel like people that's in the sneaker community and they respect nike sb dunk low got a love for it you see the shoes you have a respect for it you will love it because of the story behind it and just because of the just the just the idea alone okay so i feel like a lot of people will respect these shoes for what it is so and that's me i love it most important part is sizing when it comes to sizing these fit true to size to me but it also fits snug so if you don't like your sneakers real snug on your foot i would say go up a half size i've seen a lot of people saying with sb to go up a half size that could be true but if you like a nice fit go up i mean stay true to size but if you want to have a little loose little room in your shoe especially like on the toe boxes like the side right here I would say go up and have a size and you'll be just fine um, because these right here they fit kind of tight on the side but maybe I got to break them in and I also feel like it's because of the material used because you know you got the clear sole on it right here and um it's and now on the back when you wear them it's going to bend like these like you see right here the clear part is going to bend so over time I feel like you're going to have a little bit of wiggle room this might break off it's just like I said this sneaker is not something you would wear every day especially I don't know how you skate in these so Personally, go through the size. If you're on the wider side, go up and half size and you'll be just fine. Now, with that being said, man, comment down below and let me know your thoughts and opinion on these Nike SB Dunk Low eBay. Um, just let me know, man, did you pick these up? Did you go for these? Did you pass on them? I know a lot of people give these a lot of hate, but back in the day, if you could get that pair, I know you would. So, hey, I feel like nowadays in the sneaker community, people hate sneakers that don't resell. That's just that. But they don't like the shoe because it don't make no money. But I like it. It's different. I like different stuff. But comment down below and let me know what do you think about these. Did you pick these up? Did you pass on them? Did you cop them? However. But thank y'all so much for rocking with your boy, man. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank y'all. And, um, hey, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to each and every one of y'all. And I appreciate y'all's support. And uh, stay tuned. I got my top 10 sneakers of 2022 coming real soon. And um, I appreciate y'all, man. Peace. Peace. Pretty is my boss man, right? <laughs>